All righty then, hold on to your gadgets. After today's tech update, we've got a call from my weekend show, The Kim Commando Show, that's just too good to skip. Does anybody remember Groupon? Like most, I haven't given any thought in more than a decade. That is, until I read a story in the Wall Street Journal about the so-called viral hottest ticket in town. I'm Kim Commando, brought to you by NetSuite. Gain control over your finances. Get a one-of-a-kind flexible financing program at netsuite.com. kim The hottest ticket in town is from all places, Applebee's. It's a weekly dinner pass that Applebee's claims is worth $1,500. But you can buy it for just $200. Except you can't anymore. It's sold out. And did so in less than a minute. Which brings me back to Groupon. Remember Groupon's two-for-one pizza deals, or five manicures for the price of one? But when the herd of customers came to redeem these coupons, businesses were swamped. Customers were met with substandard products and service. Naturally, there was no repeat business. The whole thing was really unsustainable. But maybe, maybe Applebee's can make this work. Get my free newsletter now at getkim.com. Now, check out this amazing call from the show. It's a real gem. Bill in Omaha, Nebraska. Hello there, Bill. Hi, Kim. Thanks for having me on. You betcha. You betcha. What's going on? How can I help you out? Well, about 45 years ago, I was in an old-time rock and roll band, and my best friend was in it with me, and we have decided that we would like to play guitars together again and maybe recreate some of that music. But our problem, Kim, is that we live 1,200 miles apart at this time. Yes. So we set out to figure out a way that we could do that. Okay. And we found some software, and there's different varieties out there, and we downloaded it. And in doing that, we found that we need an audio interface, Mm -hmm. and we did that. So last Sunday, we decided to do a little sound check to see if we had all the components in place and if this would work. So we uh, did the sound check, and everything worked other than a few little glitches, and he, he came up and I came up. But what we noticed is people from anywhere also joined the session. Oh, gosh. So we found that there's a private setting mm-hmm. where it would only be he and I, except there's a note on there that says anybody can still listen and watch your session. Yeah. So my question for you is, are we safe in this format our personal computers and our personal information? Well, or is there a way you, you know, that's a, that's a really good question because you sent me an email and I looked up the website that you guys are using. Uh-huh. And the uh-huh. first thing that popped up on my screen was that it's not secure, not secure. And so, Ooh. so I, I would not recommend you using this uh, particular website. Uh, it's okay. Jam Studio. I would, and yes. there, there, there's a, there's a Chrome extension that you can put on HTTPS anywhere, everywhere that will make a unsecure site secure. But I, I still think there are better options. Like I think there's Jam Kazam. That's Jam and okay. Jam Kazam. Uh, yep. You know they do remote music rehearsals. They also have uh, four thousand plus songs and in their library. And I think that I I would feel better if you guys were using that instead of the one okay. that you're using. Then there's also another option. Um, I don't think you need this option, but just something to put in the back of your heads because now you guys are going to get back. You're going to be starting, you know, putting on those um, those rock and roll T-shirts again, and you're saying, "Okay, we we are ready to go. We are going to go big time. We are going big time, right?" Yeah, this time we're going to make it. This time we're going to make it, right? Because you know what. Yeah. I think you have a better shot of making if, if I'm not your lead singer, just to let you know, uh, <laughs> even though I would love to have the job. Uh, there's a there's a hardware solution uh, called Jam Link. That's J- Jam and then L-I-N-K. It's a box. And that's where you can connect to each other over the Internet, just the audio. But it doesn't have any any lag at all. And so... If, okay. So if you come into that situation where it's like, oh, you know, they wish there was, a, you know, wish we could really be more in sync, um, then you might want to look at a hardware solution. So, but look at this Jam Kazam. And, okay. uh, and uh, what's your favorite song? What do you guys play? Oh, boy. We, we go back a ways, you know, the Proud Mary and stuff like that. I, I can't, can't remember all of them, but. Well, uh, that's that's one that we've been working on lately. Beast of Burden by the Rolling Stones. We've worked on that. Good vibrations. Oh, by the okay. Beach Boys. You know what's so that's funny about the beach? Plan. We can't 
you know, we what's can't a, sing that Beach Boys. Stuff. Well, you know what I'm going to tell you about the Beach Boys is that I ran into the original founder of the Beach Boys, and he listens to the show. And he said to me, oh, Kim, okay. he said, Kim, you know what? You have a great voice. Have you ever tried singing? And uh-huh. I, I sang to him like, good, good, good vibrations. And he looked at me and he said, yeah. he said, no, I think you're better on the radio. <laughs> I was like, okay. <laughs> I'm like, all right. So if the founder of the Beach Boys tells you you can't sing, you have to really listen up. You know what I mean? Bill, thanks for your call. Coming up, we have Brand New or Not True that you never, ever want to miss. Hey, thanks for hitting play today. You're awesome. If you have questions, shoot them my way. Head over to commando.com and look for that email Kim link. I read every single note like it's a hot off the press tech news alert. Hey, get ahead of the tech game too. Just sign up for my free daily newsletter. It's just a click away over at getkim.com. That's getkim.com.